would they replace it with? What's up, guys? It's your boy, Benny. Has New York erected a satanic monument on top of one of its most important courthouses? Yikes, what is going on right here? Have a look. Is the demon world of New York actually coming true and, more importantly, raping your eyeballs? Move over, Moses and Zoroaster. Manhattan has a new female lawgiver. Look at this abomination. Look at this visual abortion. Oh my God. And I I mean that actually, like I'm praying right now. Look at this heinous, heinous modernist garbage. What is this? Sickening, like some type of nude, horned, alien, demonic prophetess. Okay, well, let's let the article speak for itself. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, from the New York Times. The artist calls the eight-foot sculpture a resistance. This is placed atop a New York courthouse. An urgent form of resistance. An urgent form of resistance. Frenzied commuters in New York's Flatiron District have been stopped in their tracks in the recent days by an unlikely apparition near Moses, Confucius, and Zoroaster. Standing atop the grandiose courthouse, a shimmering golden eight-foot female sculpture emerging from a pink lotus flower wearing Justice Ruth Gator Ginsburg's signature collar. Oh, my God. It really is such a cult. Staring regally ahead, hair braided like a spiraling horns, and the sculpture installed in the art exhibition uh, opened last week as the first female to adorn one of the courthouse's ten plinths dominated uh, more than a century now by weathered statues representing great lawgivers through the ages. All of them are men. Uh, Shazia Silkenster, Silkenster, whatever, 53, the paradigm-busting Pakistani-American artist behind the work, well, that's one way to say it, said the sculpture was part of an urgent and necessary cultural reckoning underway in New York, along with cities across the world where people like Moses need to be replaced by this. It's absolutely sickening. Look at this thing. That's the artist, ladies and gentlemen. This is her website. All of this postmodernist garbage. Again, the purpose of public art is to uplift. The purpose of public art should be to give your soul something to aspire to, not to make you feel unwell. The purpose of symmetry and beauty is to unite society, not to divide a society. Matt Walsh over here talking about this piece of art saying they make ugly things on purpose because they hate beauty, truth, and tradition. Yes. Noting that some of the, this is the MLK statue, hideous. Many people think it looks like other stuff. Look at this absolute abomination of the eyes. Fox News saying that the satanic golden Medusa abortion statue outside of New York City courthouse ruthlessly mocked for the monstrosity. Sculpture is meant to represent the fight for abortion rights. Sickening here, ladies and gentlemen. Twitter users ruthlessly mocked and condemned the new statue installed atop New York City courthouse, many claiming that it has demonic imagery. It does. We said that. It is satanic. The new eight-foot-tall golden statue by Pakistani artist now stands atop the courthouse in New York's Flatiron District. Previously, statues, uh, it replaced the lawmakers Moses, Confucius, and Zoroaster. So Moses is no longer, Moses is no, Moses is canceled. Moses is no longer acceptable. Bizarre resemblance to satanic imagery, says Mary Margaret Olihan. Tell me, do you agree? This is what satanic imagery looks like. These are what satanic statues look like. Do you see the horns? Do you see the staring, staring straight ahead? Do you see that? Look at that. Uh, I'm seeing quite a bit, actually. I'm seeing quite a bit of similarities, quite frankly, between that and this. 
seeing actually a bit, seeing actually quite a bit of similarities. The forces of evil, ladies and gentlemen, are getting more and more bold by the day. Justice is no longer blind. It's just ugly and stupid. New York put an androgynous Baphomet, which is a term for a satanic a satanic statue, with tentacles digging into its own torso on top of the courthouse in order to better reflect 21st century morales. Sounds about right. It's getting destroyed on uh, online. The next Republican mayor of New York should not only remove this but publicly destroy the monstrosity. Total agreement, ladies and gentlemen. Total agreement. Because of what this kind of garbage represents, the Federalist says that it's time for the right to make great art again and beautiful art again. As a foil to New York's new golden abortion goblin, imagine a beautiful art installation that celebrates family and the sanctity of life. Yes, that would be actually wonderful. This article goes on to say that the right sacrifices its own Ability to create culture because we no longer create art. And they're right. New York City courthouse adorned with pro-abortion satanic golden Medusa, says the Daily Caller. The Daily Caller, of course, points out that people hate this. Again, a androgynous baphomet. Something that isn't normally uh, part of our nomenclature. What is a baphomet? A deity allegedly worshipped by the Knights of Temp. Plar subsequently became incorporated various occult worship. There you go. Satanic statue. The androgynous satanic statue with the horns and the breasts. Uh, all of it is meant to, of course, uh, curse your eyeballs. And it's meant, I mean, it's meant to be ugly. They hate tradition. They hate everything that came before this pagan world that we currently live in before and after i love this uh i love this account western traditionalists before and after they hate you what we had before and what modern what modern architecture looks like this account does a great job of this actually look at look at what we had look at what they've destroyed look at what these people have destroyed there's a reason that they don't like art like this by the way and the reason for art like this the the you know the beautiful spires the pointing upward the bringing of your eyes ever upward ascending art is for you to look to the heavens for you to look to a creator for you to look to uh the true artist for you to look to god himself in the heavens and the adornment of churches and the beauty of churches and the spires of churches are designed for that exact purpose, the symmetry and beauty of buildings. Symmetry, of course, is the mark of a designer. We are symmetric beings and all art is beautiful because of its symmetry. A beautiful face is a symmetric face. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the opposite of that. This is called brutalist art artwork and is meant to be oppressive. It is meant to have you stand beneath it and to look up and to see nothing but blackness and darkness covering the sky, covering the beauty of nature. This was actually designed by godless atheists in the Soviet Union, this style of artwork. Its intended purpose is to harm your eyes, to give you the impression that there is no God, that there is nothing to look up to, that the state is God. That's actually the purpose of brutalist artwork. And that is why these godless societies, I think this is in England or Scotland, uh, replace buildings like this with buildings like that. The British are modern barbarians camped out on the relics of an older and superior civilization whose beauties they are oblivious. Hmm. This is what beauty actually is, ladies and gentlemen. Imagine being able to turn stone into silk. Look at that. Silk. Silk. What have we lost? I'm calling for a total and complete shutdown of modern architecture until we can figure out what the hell is going on. Yeah, ag ag agreed. 1980 versus the year 2000. This is a uh, London scape of downtown London. Fountains in 19 in 1651. Fountains in 1971. Hideous. Actually, the uh, yeah. Art in religious society, art in a godless society. Does this not remind you of the satanic caricature? 
I mean, again, this is just – this caricature doesn't even resemble a human being, right? It doesn't have any arms. It doesn't have any legs. Uh, it is meant to be – desecrate God's creation. Walsh also put up some other hideous pieces of public artwork. You you no doubt live in a city that has trash like this, abominations like this. Look at that stuff. What is this supposed to be? A scrotum? Harry Ball? Look at that. Cities pay for this. This is in New Orleans. Cities pay for this kind of stuff. This is not uplifting. It's not symmetric, nor is it beautiful. It's meant to harm you. It's meant to harm your eyes. And it's meant to divert your eyes away from things that are actually beautiful. Look at this. Brutalist architecture. Perfect example. It's meant to divert your eyes away from something that actually shows beauty. I'll share one final image with you. What culture decays? When a culture decays, it is reflected most vividly in its architecture. Isn't that exactly correct? Look at what happened to Times Square. Look at that. 19, Presumably the 1920s versus the 80s versus now. The decay of culture. They are in New York. Exactly where this demonic statue exists. Ladies and gentlemen, we are for beauty. There is a reason why the world and the earth was designed beautifully, why it has inherent uh, 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 beauty built into its own structural design. The reason why that is is to point to a creator, to point to something beyond yourself. Uh, art should be inspiring and uplifting. It should bring society together in its appreciation of that beauty but instead, now a godless society looks inward at itself as its own savior, uh, and uh, God will not be mocked. And so, yes, absolutely, the statue should be uh, destroyed and melted down. It is a, a sick, and that is my opinion. What's your opinion? What do you think? Let me know in the comment section. Let me know uh, because art is important. It is reflective of a society, and I certainly do not want some type of society, the justice on a courthouse – uh, to reflect, uh, reflect some type of like satanic, demonic imagery, which is exactly what that is. Sick, hedonist, postmodernist trash. Be gone. Be gone to the pit of hell where from whence you came. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section. We're fighting right alongside with you at this show. That's all we got for today. Ladies and gentlemen, keep fighting. My name is Benny Johnson. See ya. Thank you for watching. Our channel's here to meme the libs until they cry and then to meme them crying. Their tears, they taste just like sweet, delicious ice cream. Salty, too. We ridicule the establishment and the libs because of you. Your support keeps us going. So if you like what you saw, please punch the subscribe button, click like, and ring the little bell so that you know when we're live. Don't you want to know when we're live? And make sure that you subscribe to our email list just in case the plug gets pulled, as tends to happen. If you want to see more of our videos, click here or here. My name is Benny Johnson. Stay free. Base Patriots.